right, we're back, Will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in Caney Valley, Kansas. The uh, Lady Ironman taking on the Lady Bull Pups. Uh, 19 to 5 here at the start of the second quarter. So, had a little bit of trouble there in the first quarter, but I'm guessing that we are going to bounce back here. Coach Rogers has made some adjustments. So, Hannah Becker over to quarter. Campbell for three, or that was a long two there. Campbell gets her own rebound into Hannah Becker. Barnes for two, and it is no good. Corbin Campbell with another offensive rebound there, though. Adapting. <clears throat> just, a, just adapting to the situation we're in right here. These stands are up a little bit higher than we're used to. No internet connection. Things are a little wobbly. Game started early. There's a rail of, right there that <laughs> I have to have the camera extra high. I was about to say, is that rail, is it giving you trouble? No, nah, it's not. I, I got my tripod up much higher, but it's just one of those things you got to adapt. I can go get a cutting torch if you want to. <laughs> if you can get it here in time, let's do that. That'll make my life easier. Smarter, not harder, though, right? Exactly. Exactly. So that's going to be uh, foul on number 14. Aiden Thompson, her first personal, is going to put the Caney Valley Lady Pups at the line for one and one, and the first one is no good. The rebound by the Pups, and putback is no good. Aiden Thompson up to the right side of the floor, into Hannah Becker. Ooh, a little tough there on that shot, but Aiden Thompson with the offensive rebound. All right, Hannah Becker there in the short corner for two. 19 to seven, seven minutes left here in the second quarter. Lady Ironman coming with a bounce back. So the Bull Lady Bull Pups bring the ball up in the corner. Out to the top, to the wing. Skip pass to number 22. Guarded here by Corbin Campbell out top. Hannah Becker with the intense defense there in the corner. Good defense here by Lady Ironman. Good rotation. Number 10 shoots a three and it is good. That was a splashdown. So, uh, Lady Ironman bring it up. Over to Aiden Thompson. Thompson in the paint for two and it's no good. Oh, tipped out there by the Lady Ironman. Hannah Becker seemed to get a fingertip on it. I didn't, didn't see that one. 6-19 left here in the second quarter. The score is 22 to seven in favor of the Caney Valley Lady Pups. Lady Pups bring it in. Ironman here with the press. Oh, and the foul, hard foul there by McKenzie Barnes. I really don't like having my app not downloaded. It really helps me being able to keep with all the stats and all that good stuff. So this second quarter of play is going to be brought to you by Napa. The Napa know-how. We're going to have to determine who our spark plug and the Napa spark plug of the, the game is. So go down and see Brad and Colleen. And the rebound there by McKenzie Barnes. Takes it up the left side of the floor. She picks up her dribble at the timeline. Into the middle, Hannah Becker. She finds Corbin Campbell, and Campbell is no good on the shot attempt. Rebound by the Lady Pups. 22 to seven still here. Six minutes left in the second quarter. The Lady Pups bring it up. Ironman here with the half court press. And the steal there, and Brooke Smith gets it. Over to McKenzie Barnes. Back up the left side of the court. Barnes finds Campbell on the wing. Wing, skip pass to Brooke Smith. Over to Aiden Thompson on the right wing. Up to Brooke Smith. Reverse back around to Campbell in the corner. Into Hannah Becker. And it's no good there on the shot attempt. So the rebound there by the Lady Bull Pups. They bring it up. Into the corner. Into the paint. And the big gal there, the big man. No good. They got a pretty solid post play down there. I've seen her have some good feet work already, and some good moves. So 5-10 left here in the second quarter. 22 to seven is the score in favor of the Lady Bull Pups. Hannah Becker checks out. And uh, 
Alyssa Barnes checks in for her. Emma Kempton is checking in for Corbin Campbell. So Lady Bullpups throw it in. And he inbounds the ball here. Back in the short corner to number 20. Out to number 10 at the timeline. Into the corner of the trap there by the Lady Ironman. And the backdoor cut by number 10. And no good on the layup. Aiden Thompson with the rebound. Push it, ladies. Here we go. Aiden with a little bit of a tempo there. And they're going to call a reach-in foul here on number 20 for the Lady Bullpups. Number 20 is going to be Lyndon Nunnally. And that is going to be her second personal foul of the evening. So that's five team fouls there for Kenny Valley. Aiden Thompson at the top of the key, and she walked before she was able to get that shot off. So another turnover here for the Lady Ironman. All right, and this second quarter play is going to be brought to you by Napa. The Napa know-how. So Lady Bull Pups bring the ball up. The skip pass here to number 20. Into the corner. She takes back out. Into the free throw line. And it is out on the Lady Ironman. So it's going to stay here. The Lady Bull Pups are going to retain possession. So for three, and it's no good. Oh, whoa, that was, she walked. She went a walking after midnight. I always thought that was really funny when I would do that. Nobody ever laughed, Marcus. <laughs> We're getting into the dad jokes again. Hey, I knew you, what you're talking about. You know what? As long as there's no barns being built out here. <laughs> DS, it should be downloaded already. So the Ironmen are going to have a turnover here. Sorry, I'm still, I'm going to get this stat app downloaded. So Corbin Campbell checks in for Alyssa Barnes. So we've got Brooke Smith, Aiden Thompson, Mackenzie Barnes, Corbin Campbell, and Emma Kempton into the game here for the Lady Ironmen. 3.44 left in the second. 22-7 to seven is the score in favor of the Lady Pups. The shot is up and no good there for the Lady Bull Pups. Offensive rebound is going to stay here. Number 10 skips it over to 21. 21 for a long two off the front of the iron. And the offensive rebound there. And it is tipped out by Corbin Campbell. So it's still going to be down here in favor of the Lady Bull Pups. Marcus, do you have a good Christmas and everything? And I hope everybody at home had a good Christmas and a good Happy New Year. Uh, <clears throat> the worst thing about it was I went stir crazy. I had a hundred things to do at home, and I didn't do a single one of them. I slept in and I ate. That's <laughs> all I did for a week. You know, I think Haley and I are still kind of maybe doing it. <laughs> so, uh... It's wonderful for a while. I'm just not designed to go slow, I guess. I'm with you. I get slow, I get real slow. Well, you know, at least no one was able to stay out of the nasty weather. It was kind of chilly and stuff yesterday, but we were able to stay out of all that nasty stuff that uh, they got down south, you know. Yeah, there's that, that running, I don't know if you call it a joke or not, but the running joke where the first, first freeze of the, of the winter, everybody just freaks out and don't know how to, like they hadn't drove on ice in yeah. 20 years. You know, I, I, since I moved here from Oklahoma City, I had the app still from the news app down there. Um, that first kind of slicker rain that it had had, you know, down there from 4.30 to 8.30, it said on the app that they had responded to over 40 crashes or 40 calls out, you know. And I thought that was just incredible. But we'll be in the thick of it. It'll be coming down in two or three inches whenever we're in the thick of winter and everything, and then everybody's used to it. So the Lady Ironman pulled a turnover there. 
Corbin Campbell for a long two, and it is off the back of the iron. A rebound there by the Caney Valley Lady Pucks. Number 10, bringing the ball up. That kind of looked like a shot of desperation. It didn't look like it was completely thought all the way through. Oh, she walks. So another turnover forced by the Lady Ironman. So we're going to have number four, Alyssa Barnes. Number 11, Hannah Becker. Number one, Alexis Malone. Number four, or 34, Mackenzie Hobbs. Or not Mackenzie Hobbs, Alexis Hobbs. I'm sorry. No, it is Morgan Hobbs. Morgan Hobbs. Number 34, Morgan Hobbs. And uh, number 25, Alyssa, or, uh, Mackenzie Barnes is going to stay in the game here. So Alexis Malone finds Becker in the middle. Out to Hobbs. Hobbs in the corner for Barnes. Good ball fake there by Alexis Malone. Oh, she just lost her dribble and jump ball, and the possession is going to stay here for the Lady Ironman. So 2.05 left in the second period, 22 to 7 still in favor of the Caney Valley Lady Bullpups. I think I see somebody down here that wants to be on camera. <laughs> Ooh, and it is drained for three. Number 34, Morgan Hobbs. Steps in the game and gets us a good basket there. And I see somebody that doesn't want to be on camera now. That's another thing that I had to adjust to. They, they have their fans over on the opposite side. And I was going to sit over. We were going to post up over there, but that doesn't work either. This is a tricky game from a TV perspective. It is. Hobbs skip pass to Barnes. Barnes in the corner to Barnes. Alyssa Barnes 4-3, and it's no good. Tipped out there by the Lady Puffs, so it's going to stay here on the side for the Lady Ironman. Hannah Becker, number 11, is going to throw the ball in. They break to the ball. Oh, it's tipped and stolen there by the Caney Valley Lady Pups. And the foul is going to be on number four, Alyssa Barnes. That is going to be her second personal. So, yeah, talking about this long break, I was so proud of myself. I had time and I, I figured out how to put all these logos up in the top right corner, which I thought was really cool. And then we run into a bunch of snacks, but hey, you know what? That's life. How about your Christmas? Happy New Year. We had a really good Christmas. We had Haley's family come up, and uh, they stayed with us for what? I think her brother and his girlfriend stayed two days extra. Uh, her parents came up for, I think they were there for three days, so. All right, that was the first time our families had gotten to meet, and it was really, it was oh, really cool. fun. My brother came; he flew in from South Carolina. He's a strange, strange character, but <laughs> we all love him to death. He's loving it out in South Carolina, though. He's doing really well out there. He's into the big wig commercial real estate stuff. Oh boy, I don't know anything about that stuff. Well, Haley got some new boots. She got in a little bit of everything. New booties. Oh, he went down. All right, so the Caney Valley Lady Pups bring the ball down. Dribbles in, and the shot's no good. Rebound by Mackenzie Barnes. Barnes takes it up. Left side, she likes the left side of the court, y'all. 45 seconds left here in the second quarter. Ah, a little too hard there by Hannah Becker. Turnover there by the Lady Ironman. So 45 seconds left here in the second quarter, 23 to 10 in favor of the Lady Bullpups. Alyssa Barnes has checked out. And Alessandra Mathis has checked into the game. Second time in for her this evening. 40 seconds left here. Into the post for the Lady Pups. Good right or left uh, step there. Oh, they're going to call a foul, I think. So that is going to be on Hannah Becker, which is going to be her second personal of the evening. And the 10th team foul for No Water Lady Ironman. So regardless, that was on the shot. So we're going to be shooting two uh, the rest of the way out, which is only 34 seconds. But So Paige Atkinson checks in the game. And 
And the shot is up off the back iron and the rebound by Hannah Becker. Hannah Becker brings the ball up. Oh, over to Alessandra. Alessandra to Morgan. Morgan into Hannah Becker and it's up and no good. Rebound there by Hannah Becker. Oh, and they take a fight to the floor. Possession is gonna go to the Caney Valley Lady Pups. So 15 seconds left here in the second quarter, first half, 23 to 10 in favor of the Lady Bull Pups. The second quarter of play is gonna be brought to you by Napa there in Noana. Say hi to Brad and Colleen for us. Tell them KGCT 25 sent you. So eight seconds left here, another jump ball, and this is gonna be in favor of the Lady Ironman. So maybe we can get us a last second shot here to get some momentum going into halftime. Hannah Becker inbounds to Paige Atkinson. Atkinson to Hobbs. Hobbs reverses, back to Becker. Becker with the half court shot, the heave is no good. So going into halftime, 23 to 10, in favor of the Caney Valley Lady Bullpups. So that second quarter of action brought to you by the Napa and Auto Parts in Nowata. Like I just said, if you stop in, say hi to Brad and Colleen, tell them that KGCT25 sent you. So we're gonna step away here, we're gonna cut to a commercial, and after these messages, we will be right back with the second half of play here in Caney Valley.